So we're going to talk about Chocolatey, a package manager for Windows. Now I've actually wanted to do a video about Chocolatey for a while because while this is primarily a Linux sort of channel, a large number of my viewers are dual booters or Windows users that are interested in Linux. And Chocolatey is a super cool package manager for Windows that is based on the NuGet framework. It's remarkably similar to common Linux package managers. And while Chocolatey is a package manager, it does not redistribute applications like most Linux package managers do. Instead, Chocolatey uses a community repository where install scripts are stored. This community repository is very similar to the way Arch AUR is. In fact, the install scripts themselves are remarkably similar. The Chocolatey install scripts are called NUPKGs and the ArchAUR install scripts are called PKG builds. If we compare the install scripts for Google Chrome side by side, you'll see that they are remarkably similar. They both look for a URL and they both install them in similar ways. Chocolatey makes heavy use of a scripting language built into Windows called PowerShell. And as such, we're going to use a PowerShell prompt to install Chocolatey. Now by default, the execution of most scripts is disabled in the default policy in PowerShell, so we'll need to change that. We'll set the execution policy to bypass. And the command to actually install Chocolatey is kind of weird, so you can find it on the Chocolatey website or in the description. And obviously once Chocolatey is installed, you can start installing applications. So Chocolatey has a pretty good CLI, and we're going to go ahead and install Google Chrome here. But it also has a phenomenal UI, and it's called the Chocolatey GUI, and unfortunately it's not installed by default. So after we install Google Chrome here, we're going to go ahead and install the Chocolatey GUI. The Chocolatey command line is functional, and if you need to automate some stuff, it's pretty good for that, but I find it to be a bit too verbose and maybe slightly clunky. I'm not a huge fan of the PowerShell prompt to begin with, and all of these colors and weird text backgrounds makes it really hard to really see what's going on. So we'll install the Chocolatey GUI, and just like anything you install through Chocolatey, it'll register it as a normal Windows application, and you can find it in the Start menu. Now obviously you can install, uninstall, and search for software using the CLI, but I think that most end users for Chocolatey are going to be looking for some sort of a UI, so for the rest of this video we're going to be using the Chocolatey GUI. So if you're familiar with any package manager front ends on Linux, like Synaptic, Muon, or YumX, you should be right at home with Chocolatey GUI. If you're a totally native Windows user, you've never seen anything like this, it's actually pretty intuitive. You literally just search for the application you want to install. That is it. So for example, I want to install Steam. I don't want to go to Valve's site to download the Steam executable and install it. I just want to install it. So with Chocolatey, we'll search for Steam, we'll find the Steam package, and we'll install it. It's as simple as that. Once Chocolatey is done installing Steam, we'll launch Steam, and it will finish the process. Chocolatey keeps track of all the applications that you install through Chocolatey, so if you install an application outside of Chocolatey, you won't see it in the app listing here. On the flip side, if you did install an application outside of Chocolatey, but you want Chocolatey to manage it, you can just reinstall it again through Chocolatey. It won't make any changes to that application, but it will register it in the list here. Uninstalling applications is pretty much exactly what you would expect. You go to the app listing and uninstall the application. It will uninstall the application as if you uninstalled it from Windows itself. It will remove all of the files, all of the registry entries, and so on. So I think that covers the basics of installing and using Chocolatey. Now if you've never heard of Chocolatey, you might be surprised that a tool like this even exists on Windows. Like I said at the beginning of the video, it's based on the NuGet framework. It's actually a development tool. NuGet is a package management tool that's built for c -sharp and .NET framework. You could think of NuGet like pip for Python or npm for Node. However, for Chocolatey, NuGet has sort of been repurposed to install software on Windows. If you start using Chocolatey and look through the repos, you might be surprised to see how many applications are in here. The Chocolatey repo rivals many Linux repos as far as sheer number of applications. It's not without its flaws though. I would say that the biggest flaw that it has is, man, it takes a long frickin' time to install some applications. I'll be honest, I had to edit out some of the time it takes to install some of these applications, but take Battle of Wesnoth here. This took like 10 minutes to install, it was unreal. Another major flaw that I ran into is you only seem to be able to install one application at a time. Now you might be able to install applications in parallel through the CLI, but at least through the Chocolatey GUI, you could only install one. Now I'm pretty sure that that's actually a limitation on Windows, because I believe that you can only run one Windows installer at once, so blame Windows for that limitation. But that's going to wrap this video up. I hope that you've learned something and enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video with your friends. I appreciate your support, and thanks for watching.